Ready? Yeah. Alright guys, so now we're uh, up in the air, uh, we're on our way um, to our destination. Uh, upon arrival, uh, we're going to do a rat test uh, where we have to deploy the ram air turbine in the front right of the, the uh, airplane's nose. Um, the purpose of the ram air turbine is to provide uh, electricity and hydraulic power uh, to the essential systems of the airplane in case of either a hydraulic malfunction or a, um, a full AC failure where we would be out of uh, of electricity. Uh, so the procedure, once accomplished, is going to get really, really loud uh, in the cockpit. So you might not be able to hear most of uh, what's going to be happening. So I'm going to walk you through what's going, uh, what we're going to be doing, uh, the effects that it's going to be having on the airplane as we uh, slow down and land. Um, and then you can just monitor, you can just watch, uh, and hopefully learn something. And then uh, after landing, we'll get out of the plane and we'll go have a look at a ram air turbine uh, outside and what it looks like. So generally speaking, that tends to deploy automatically. Um, if we lose full uh, electrical failure, the rat will deploy on its own. Um, dual engine failure, it will deploy on its own. Um, it's meant to be there as a, bit, as a backup, uh, obviously. And um, the only uh, gotcha sort of thing with the, the ram air turbine is um, that it's, it's limited by airspeed. Uh, the faster you go, obviously, the more it will produce. It's like a big wind turbine that you would see uh, you know, in farm fields or elsewhere like that. But it's tiny and it goes really, really fast instead. Um, so the faster you go, obviously, the faster it will turn and the more it can produce. The slower you go. This, the, the last is uh, its ability to produce uh, energy for you. Um, so there comes a speed at which it has to decide what sort of energy it is going to be producing, uh, whether it's going to be hydraulic or electrical power. Now, here's the question, which one do you think is most important in case of a dual engine failure? Since all the controls are hydraulics, we really wouldn't be able to do anything. We'd be really in a bad spot if we didn't have a hydraulic pressure. So once we uh, slow down below a certain speed on approach, the ram air turbine stops producing AC power and will only uh, provide us with hydraulic power. Um, as you saw during the test, while we tested it on the ground, it becomes a three system three pump basically, and it'll provide hydraulic power to only those systems. Um, where do we get our electricity from? Once the rat disconnects from the electrical system, it all comes from the uh, DCs, uh, just our batteries basically. So the Avionics battery and the APU battery are now our emergency systems. Um, if, for example, we had slowed down and we decided that we accelerate again above certain speed, uh, then the rat will kick back on the uh, AC system and start providing electricity there as well. Um, so, like I said, it'll get really, really loud. Uh, I'll try to, you know, bring the volume down a little bit uh, in the video for you guys, but as well, uh, keep an eye on uh, what we're going to be doing and. Uh, here we're going to take a look at what the procedure looks like. Um, you can see that it's to be done only in VMC obviously because you're going to be messing with your, uh, your sensors. Especially here later down in the note, the rat will disturb the airflow around the stall protect system in the right hand vane the P2 Pedo static probe so this is why ADC1 and 3 are selected 3 is the backup so uh, you typically would be on ADC1 and the right side will be on ADC2 and ADC3 is the backup but as uh, we saw here we have a reversion control panel PFD2 is going to be reverting to ADC3 
Uh, once that is done, so we see ADC one. I'll check on my side. Sean will check, check ADC three on his. Stall pusher switch, which we saw also during the video earlier. Uh, one of them, either left or right, will be selected off. Which at which point stall protect fail caution message will be displayed. Right BFD ADC reversion confirm ADC three. Landing gear lever will come down, so our operational speed for raising and lowering the gear is 200 knots, so that means we'll be slower than that. Slat flap lever out in 16. Airspeed maintain 180 knots. Then we'll check our electrical page, verify and record Gen 4 voltage and load, and see that AC essential bus is powered by AC4. Okay, note before we proceed, monitor hydraulic and AC electrical synaptic pages, so we'll have both up. Right handle, pull, but do not, and do not still handle. Where's the right handle in this cockpit? It's right, uh, we follow the console all the way down. Lift this cover, and it's pretty obvious which one it is. We will pull it, but not stow it. hydraulic pump is displayed on the hydraulic synoptic page like we saw during the during the uh, ground test the rat generator electrical parameters are displayed the flow line is green on the ground test it was a different color if you remember the rat gen switch on legend illuminates you remember that on the electrical panel we're gonna come down here and remember the guard is switched. This will be displayed on. So remember that these systems are meant to be dark when they're operating the way they are supposed to be. So when they're on, they'll be dark, but this one will be illuminated on, which means it's not in its typical mode of operation. We'll be looking for EMER power only warning message displayed on the CAS and RAT gen on advisory message on this CAS. Make sure that the Gen 4 voltage remains unchanged and that the electrical load has been significantly reduced. Carrying on with a checklist, hydraulic pump 3A and 3B off. Make sure that the hydraulic system number 3 pressure is within operational limit. Now why do we do this? Remember that our rat is becoming a system 3 hydraulic pump. So because these two otherwise will be doing all the work, we want to turn them off and make sure that the rat is actually producing hydraulic pressure. And uh, at all the same time, make sure that the rat generator voltage and frequency are within operating limit. Okay? Rat generator voltage and frequency are within operating limit on the AC electrical pages. Now we're gonna, once we've checked that, our A, 3A and 3B pumps will be coming back to their operation, normal operation. Rat gen switch press. The on legend remains illuminated. The rat generator still powers the AC essential bus. Rat handle stow. 
this is where here, when we press the rat gen switch again, we now take it offline. Now we're telling the airplane, I want you to power our systems normally. Uh, so now our AC essential bus line will be reconnected to AC bus 4. The rad gens switch off, rad gen illuminates, rad gen off status meshes are displayed. Emer power only warning messages disappears. I'm going to pull it again, see, make sure that it comes back online. Uh, make sure that it reconnects to the AC essential bus plate uh, on the AC electrical page. So now we know that our rat will power uh, hydraulic three systems and AC essential bus. Rat gen switch is on. Um, Emer power only comes back. Rat gen on. Advisory message comes back. Whoop. Now remember the speed that we're talking about. The rat gen output is shed when ADC 1 or ADC 3, so remember that we're on 1 and 3 now, not 1 and 2, indicates approximately 147 knots. So at 147, it's going to stop producing generator output, so AC power. So we're going to check that next. We're going to slow down to 140 knots, record the speed at which it goes offline, Make sure now that the AC essential bus is connected to the AC bus 4 on the electrical page and that the rat gen switch off legend illuminates. Okay, so rat gen off message is displayed, Emer power only disappears. The rat generator will come back online and start feeding again our AC system. 1ADC1 or ADC and ADC3 indicates above 152. Interesting here where it'll shed when one or the other indicates 147, but it comes back online only when 1 and 3 indicates above 152. So now we're going to increase the speed above 152 knots, record the speed at which it comes back online. Rat generator is connected to the AC central bus. Rat gen switch is on. Emer power only message is displayed. Rat gen on advisory is displayed. So on the cockpit circuit breaker panel, um, circuit breaker Echo 8 essential TRU2 will pull out. DC essential bus and battery bus are tied to the DC electrical page. So we're gonna check that. I'm gonna go to DC Electrical here. Flow line between Essential TRU1 and DC Essential Bus is green. ADC verify one and three, rad gen switch verify on, hydraulic pump three alpha verify on. The verify 3B is on auto. We know that we're going to have a DC miscompare. Uh, rat gen fail. Uh, message may be displayed on rollout. After engine and APU shutdown, verify DC essential battery bus are tied again. Stole the rat handle only once it has been checked. That DC essential battery bus remain tied after the rat channel is checked. After in-flight right deployment, do not touch the rat until a minimum of 15 minutes after landing. Residual pressure may cause rat to rotate. This can cause injury. And that's it, guys.
Alright guys, as you can see, here we are on the ground. The uh, rat handle, ram air turbine handle looks like this once it's been pulled. Um, it's pretty interesting because you can see there's a release uh, latch here that if you want to put it back, it can't be done accidentally. Um, because obviously if you push it back and you still need it, it would disconnect the rat. So there's the safety mechanism here that's made to prevent that. It's pretty sizable handle, nice and red, easy to find. Um, and uh, otherwise, let's have a better look at the hydraulic page. You can see that the rat symbol is gone here. AC page, AC page, all that is gone. Um, that's where we're on the ground now. And uh, yeah, so that was about it. Now what we're gonna do is taxi the plane over to the maintenance facility and let them uh, deal with that. It'll be a fun thing to check from the outside. Let's go have a look. And here's the big reveal. Here's the Ram Air Turbine. As you can see, it's like a little engine here. Um, I don't know the exact diameter, but it's big enough that it can produce hydraulic, like you saw, and uh, AC power for the plane in case of emergency. It'll drop out, just deploy automatically. There's um, there's an accumulator in there that's there just to push it out uh, in case of need. Uh, so, like I said, it'll deploy automatically in case of total uh, electrical power failure, or unless you deploy it manually as well. Like um, so that's it for now. Sorry about the clickbait, but uh, hey, you watched the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe just to make sure also. Thank you guys. Hey guys, this is Pilot JD. Thank you again for stopping by. I really enjoyed having you over. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe also to make sure that uh, you don't miss the next one. As always, leave your comments below. I love to answer them and see you next time.